Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stranded Deep. We're still surviving. So we're back here on Coconut Island, and uh, as, as you recall in the last episode, we ended, things were nighttime, and you know, we were really hungry, really thirsty. So you can see here, I've got our thirst all the way back up. We really need to eat, though. So what, first thing I want to do is get that fire working. I, I know how to get the fire working, finally. And, uh, oh, let's check out, remember, this is Carl Rock. Wait, where's Carl? <gasps> oh no, where's Carl the turtle? Carl! Carl! Oh, here he is. Oh my gosh. Get out of the... <laughs> get back up here, man. Okay, cool. Carl is okay. That was kind of a risky situation there. Like, if, if Carl had left after we killed him, then I don't know what I would think. You know, that could just be a horrible situation. So I brought a few things over with us. I brought some more sticks. And I believe to get the fire working again, I hold a stick, and I just left click on it. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Oh, it's so big. I wonder if that was maybe too many sticks. So let's throw some more rocks down here. I know I need that, and I know I need some lashings. And we should be able to make a fire pit. Here it is. One campfire, six rocks. <gasps> look at that. Yes. Now the question is, how do we turn this into a bigger campfire? Uh, get out of the crafting menu, please. Okay, let's see. Let's pick up a few... No. Let's pick up a few sticks here. I'm going to throw them over here with our lashings. And everything else. Let's see, we got campfire now. Fire spit. Allows automated... Okay, let's get it. There it is. Look at that. Totally upgraded. Yes. Okay, so we need to get some crabs cooking like ASAP. So let's throw some more stuff. Let's clear out the old inventory. Throw a couple rocks over here. Now, on the other island, I did leave quite a few parts. Uh, mainly, I chopped down some trees and just left all the parts there. So we could go back and just gather them up. All right, let's get our lighter. We threw that down over here somewhere. Let's get this going. Sunk. All right, now we got some crabs that we can do stuff with. The question is, how many... Let's see, do I just left-click on this? Oh, look at that! Oh, oops. I took them off. Look how amazing that is. We're cooking crab right now. We need it, too. Really bad. We are down to two blocks on food. So, man, you know, I really... What I want to do is get a motorized raft. That's really what we got to collect parts for so we can get around easier. We've only discovered one extra island so far. Now, how long is this going to have to cook for? Like, is he ready? Definitely not. All right, we'll just let him cook on there for a bit. I'll throw this guy down. Uh. And let's just take a look here. All right, food still not doing so great. Hey, he's totally done. The crab is totally done. Let's get him. I feel kind of bad if that we're about to just munch on this guy. Look at his face. He's like, please, don't eat me. Mmm, man, you were delicious. Okay, that got us a little bit. We need some more crabs, though. Let me do this again. So it does. It makes an audible ding when it's done. It seems to take about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. And then you hear like a little ding. You know, all, all sensual like that. It's a sensual ding, essentially. Pants just get thrown right off. All right, we still got our water. We don't need to worry about that right now. We got just plenty of coconut juice to keep us company. Here we go. One more cooked crab. Oh, tasty. How are we doing? Full on food. Okay, we are ready. We are ready. Hey, Carl, what's going on, man? Dude, keep the rock solid, bro. Don't ever let me down. Never gonna give you up. No, we won't go with Rick Rollin'. We won't do that right now. That is inexcusable for a video. All right, let's get back to the raft. We gotta get back over to that island. Let's see. I, I really don't need my lighter. Shoot. All right, let me go drop the lighter off, and let's start paddling. Boom. Okay, went ahead and built a crude hammer. I decided just to... Go ahead and get that built. Let's go at... Ooh, ooh, it's getting foggy. What? This is a thing? I have never seen that before. Very cool. All right, let's put the hammer down. And all right, we are good. I just had to drop things off. Let's head back to the raft. Getting really foggy. Let's make sure I know where we're going to be going here. So I've noticed, you know, there are a lot of mods for this game. And I, I, I noticed a few people had something like a, a map system so they could actually see where they were going. 
Now, I don't know what I think about that. I mean, having a map in this game, like, sort of defeats the purpose of, of the whole survival dealio, you know? But, uh, you know, mods are something I may look at. That could be kind of fun to mess around with. All right, I know the island's out this way, so I'll start heading there, and then we will rendezvous when we get there. Oh, wait a minute. Look. Look on top of the ship. Hang on. Whoa. I totally missed, I think, a crate up there. Let's go get that. Oh, my God. I'm so excited right now. Boop. Oh, also... Also, there should be... A morphine... Somewhere... Underwater. Let's see. I So, I put a bunch of stuff in my raft, thinking, Oh, okay, let's throw some sticks in there. Throw the morphine. And then I'll start paddling. And hopefully, you know, everything will, like, stay in the raft. Uh, no. Everything ends up falling out of the raft. So, I had, like, two engines and morphine, a bunch of sticks. And the, uh, the morphine and the, the engines just went... Oh, oh, I need some breath. Went flying out of my raft. So, uh, the morphine's around here somewhere. Gotta find it. Oh, here, you know, so here's an interesting thing. Like, you know, we see these little sardines. If you're ever in a survival situation and you wanted to try to catch some little minnows or sardines or something, here, a trick that works... What you do is you dip your shirt down into the water, kind of to make like a, a little inverse net, you know? Uh, just while you're wearing it, you just kind of scoop the bottom of your shirt down, and then what you do is you actually just spit in the water. And uh, spit actually attracts minnows and uh, little sardines and stuff. They, they think it's food. And so they will actually come over to you, and you know, then you can just lift your shirt up. You gotta be really still. It's really hard to get right. But that is another way that you could potentially catch some stuff. Okay, it can't climb ladders. It's unfortunate. It's like there's ladders. Let's see, there's a case up here. And I'm going to have to try. Let's shut the door here. How am I going to get that? Okay. Question is, what's in it? Dang it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, a flare gun. Oh, come on. How do I... If I just get my mouse just right... Got it. Woo! A flare gun. Cool. Okay, I don't want to shoot it. I don't actually know if we need a flare gun. What is the point of a flare gun? Uh, it's not like we're going to be able to shoot the flare and have some airplanes or, or something come over here. I guess just for lighting stuff up at night. Alright, so here's a few sticks I've gathered. Put the flare gun down here. And here's what I did. I did some chopping earlier. and In fact, we got a few more sticks and stuff laying around. Potato plant. Uh, I'll leave the potato plants for now. We really don't need taters. Especially because we got that sweet fire pit. I wish you could actually turn the fire off, though. Where's all the stuff that I chopped? Where did it go? What? Hang on. One sec. Where? I chopped a bunch. Here it is. Okay. Oh, man. I was about to say, no bueno, sir. Get these palm fronds. That's what I'm talking about. So this is, this is going to be more like a gathering type episode, I think, to prep us for the next one. I want to start building our shelter. I really, really do. We really need a shelter. And, you know, maybe we can get a Carl 2.0 or something like that. Carl is just, you know, everything we find is going to be Carl to some degree because, you know, it's it's all about the reincarnation. Most people get reincarnated, but when you're out here in a survival situation, it's all about the reincarnation. Start chopping this tree down. Sweet palm tree growing for me. He took a look at my face. Oh, that, whoa, what? Did she, it just, it literally scooted like two feet to the left. All right, start chopping some trunk here. Beautiful. Boom, lovely sticks for everybody. You can put them in your pants and stuff. That's what you do with sticks. Apparently you just stick them in your pants. Wow, look at all these that we have, goodness. Only one rock. If I could find another rock, then maybe we could actually bring the rocks with us. I just don't want to waste an inventory spot on one thing. When, for instance, we could have four sticks in that same spot. It's all about the inventory management, my friends. You can never forget the inventory management. You know what? Uh, we're almost out of stuff. Okay. Uh, this crude axe is just about done, so... uh. We got an open inventory spot. Let's go check out this shipwreck really quick here. What are we going to have? Come on, baby. Something good. What do we got down here? Beautiful. Ooh, this one's really down. Down in the depths. 
All right, let's cat. Let's get some air really quick here before I do something potentially dangerous. Get us stuck. We'll check up top here first. Anything? A toolbox. Great. What do we got? What do we got? What do you got, B? What do you got? A hammer. Oh, look at this. Dude, this hammer is way legit. All right, let's go down here. See if there's anything on the other side of the ship. I noticed there was a hole down here. I'm really worried about swimming in this. And, like, not being able to get back out. Let's get the lights. Oh, hey, buddy. Got a little clownfish. Move. Move, friend. Oh, there's a door. Look at this. Okay, we better go get some air. Hang on. Oh, there's a shark. Ah, ah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't have a weapon. Get away. Dude. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Going down here. I feel safer down here. Get away, man. Look at all this. Wow. What is this? That's not a thing. These also aren't things. There's another door. I doubt I can get to it. Here we go. Uh, toolbox with a... Oh, a, a label maker. What? A compass? I don't care about it. Okay, let's go get some air. Do I want that label maker? Oh, oh, I'm getting hurt. Go swim. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am freaking out right now. I do not like sharks. I do not like open bodies of water with fish. How are we doing? Oh, man, I'm all bloody. What happened? So how do you get health back? Yeah, you get out of here, fool. All right, we'll come back for the label maker at another time. Let's go ahead now and uh, let's make our way back to the island here. We have a bunch of stuff to bring back. This is great. Where? Oh, whew. we got uh, more sticks here. Let's see if we can get back before it's dark. Oh, crap. Okay, I'll uh, I'll leave my compass over here because we have another compass. On, we Actually, we have two compasses on the other side of our island. So that is what we will uh, we'll use. We'll just kind of keep a smattering of compasses around, I guess. Here comes that beautiful moon here in Stranded Deep. You know, we're heading back to Coconut Island, and I can't help but think the moon is also the same shape as a coconut. Why can I not paddle anymore? What is going on? It's so dark. I, I, this is what would kill me in a survival situation. <laughs> Big open bodies of water, nighttime, on a raft, with sharks around you. I would cave in on myself. There's no way I would survive. I would just be game over, man. I would drink my own piss and that'd be it. I'd just be, that's it. We're done. Yay, we made it. Coconut Island. Feels so good. It's nice to be able to call this home. Once we get a shelter going, I'm going to be really, really stoked. Finally, we'll be able to have like a really nice place. Let's see if our fire's still going at least. Maybe pop a crab on there. Let's take a look. Uh, food is already down a little bit. My gosh. And of course, I meant to drop the paddle in the raft. All right, we'll drop this here. Uh, we did get this hammer. Let's add this with the other crude hammer which is awesome. All right, let's add um, another stick to the campfire here. And then we will drop a bunch of sticks. <laughs> it's, it's getting ridiculous. Man, we need like a storage chest or something. I wonder if that exists in the game. This is getting really hilarious. So let's go pick up a hammer really quick here and a lighter. What I want to see <gasps> Why can't I light that? Oh, it's still going. It's just not graphically showing us anything. Interesting. So, can I throw a crab on here then? And he's not cooking. Um, let's see, try to try to pop some more stuff. No. All right. Weird. Okay, let me try one more time. Where's the lighter? Can I even... I, can... I can't relight this. I don't know what's happening with this right now. <laughs> it's so weird. All right, bogus. Apparently, there's something going on. It's still putting off a glow, which makes me think it still works. Uh, let's see. Yes, let's find out. Let's get this hammer. What can we potentially build from all this jazz? Foundation. Look at this. <gasps> oh. oh, Narnia. Straight Narnia. Tumless would love this. Yeah, let's get a little foundation. Go, Man, how high can you make this? Good lord. 
Well, we'll start with something just dinky, I guess. Maybe like right here in this open area. Yeah, 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 like right here. Uh, sure. Cool, check it out. Foundation, baby. What else can we do? So what do the palm fronds give us for... Oh, still just foundations. Okay, well, we'll have to figure out what else uh, what else we need here to build some more. But check it out. We got a place to live. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get our sleep on. Oh, a little yawn. Mm, mm, mm. What a great sleep. How's our food and stuff doing? So, all right, how do I... I'm dying. I'm apparently really dying. My health is already at half. Uh, okay, this will be a great place to stop this episode, ladies and gentlemen, so I can figure out what in the world I need to do to stop dying. And uh, from there, you know, I think we'll do a little bit more gathering, and we'll start working on our base. We'll start working on these foundations, maybe get a little roof, a little shelter going. And uh, then it's just, uh, you know, it's all downhill from there. Like, hopefully, our survival should just get a little bit easier. So thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by and hanging out. If you enjoyed the series, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let's me know you guys are enjoying it, and you are supporting it, and I will keep making episodes... Uh, as long as I see that there is interest. So, I hope you all have an absolutely great one. Take it easy and stay classy. Why won't you... Why won't you light? No, oh, seriously. Brother's got a, a lighter. Dog. More sticks. Man, what in the world? Alright, anyways.